All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go, taking a look at our practice test. Okay, use draw the drawing to answer the following. Name a segment. A segment is just two points, B and C, and you need to put the correct symbol symbol over top of it. Okay, so just a regular line, no arrows. Okay. Now naming a line, please be careful. You want to make sure you go through two points where there are two arrows. So in this case, B, D. All right. You could have also said something like um, A, B. Um, if you wanted to name this line a different way, you could have said D, B. That's fine. Switch the letters around. Naming array, start, go through it. So in this case, C. E, that's one way you could do it. You could do C, D, you could do B, D, um, as long as you have the appropriate okay, symbol. Name three collinear points. A point is one letter. So B, C, and E. Each of them is its own thing. Okay? All right. Find all the missing angles. If this is 111, that's 111. Now, to find. Okay. Over here, 180 minus 111 gives you 69, which means this is 69 degrees, that's 69 degrees, okay? I could pick that up and I can move that all the way over here. Now, I can pick this up and move this over here, all right? So 111, 69 degrees, 111, 69 degrees, okay? Um, then I come over here, 1's on 1, 111, 2, 69 degrees, 3 is 69 degrees, 4 is 111, 5 is 69 degrees, 6, 7, 69 degrees. Okay, cool. Alright, solve for X and for Y. This is a right angle, which means this is 90. 90 minus 40 gives you 50. All right. So find y. I can say y plus 40 plus 50 plus 17 equals 180 degrees. Add these together. Okay. Subtract 107. 73. There we go. Okay, you got x and y done. Two segments that share one endpoint. Okay, there is one segment A, B, C. There's two segments. Okay, no line, no arrows. You're all good. If they ask for a rate, I have one arrow, so on and so forth. Three parallel planes. You can go parallelogram, parallelogram, parallelogram. <laughs> And use capital letters for them. Okay? Cool. The back side. Suppose B is between A and C. Solve for X and find the length of each segment. This plus this equals the whole thing. Okay? Same side. Combine like terms. 7X plus 2X is 9X. That's 3. Oops, that's minus 12. 3 minus 12 is negative 9. Add 9, add 9, divide, x equals, that's incorrect, sorry, 12, okay, um, plug this back in, if I do 7 times 12, um, I get 84, plus 3 is 87, 2 times 12 is 24, minus 12, 12, why is this nice? 87 plus 12 gives me 99. Okay? Keyword by sex. Cut and half. This will equal that. 8x minus 7 equals 3x plus 8. Alright? I can go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides. 5x minus 7 equals 8. Plus 7 plus 7. 5x equals 15. Divide by 5, x equals 3. If you plug this back in, 8 times 3 is 24, minus 7 is 17, yes? And then 3 times 3 is 9, plus 8 is 17. Okay? Thank you. Okay, now, over down here, just gotta pass. Um, solve for x and for y. These are across from each other. 
so you want to set them equal. But the problem is x's and y's, okay? But straight line forms 180. You're fine, you're good. You guys can go on the video soon anyway, don't worry. I can add these together. <coughs> Plus 3x plus 17 equals 180. Okay, combine like terms. 2x and 3x is 5x. 8, 17 is 25. Minus 25, minus 25. Okay, divide by 5. x equals 31. If you plug 31 in over here, I get 70 degrees. That makes this 110 degrees, makes this 110 degrees, makes this 70 degrees. So now I want to solve for y. Guys, take a look. 5y plus 15 equals 70. Subtract 15. Okay. Y equals 11. All right? All is well. Good stuff. Last one. Find the distance from point C to the midpoint of AB. You need to find the midpoint from A to B. Alright? So, here's A, here's B, here's x1, y1, x2, y2. Alright? So, negative 3 plus 1, 3 plus negative 5. Okay. That gives me negative 2 over 2. That gives me negative 2 over 2. That reduces down negative 1, negative 1. Good stuff. Now I want the distance between these two points. Negative 1, negative 1, and then C is 4, 1. So x1, y1, x2, y2. All right. So you're looking at x2 minus x1, 4 minus negative 1, 1 minus negative 1, um, 5 squared plus 2 squared, 25 plus 4. Square 29. Guys, just please be careful. If you do this and you get a perfect square on that one, just break it down. So, for example, if it says square root 36, you'd be all set. All right? You will be fine for this test. Uh, make sure you guys take a look at it. And you're all good. Now, let's see how this works. Say hi. All right, guys, say hi. All right, cool. All right, good stuff. Cool. All right, good luck. We're all counting on you.